Angeles is now the nation's fifth leading city for bed bug infestations. According to a list released this year by Orkin, we now have more infestations here than they do in New York, and that is keeping a special dog pretty busy. Come on, baby, let's go. Let's go work. Let's go work. Come on, find this. Nobody wants to talk about it. They're embarrassed. This is Toby, the bed bug inspector. He's in hot demand for his spectacular sniffer. These dogs work for food and love. Toby's job, find hidden bed bug infestations. At Round the Clock Pest Control in Santa Clarita, Toby has emerged as the company's most popular attraction. Owner Robert Gallo brought Toby on board after being overwhelmed with bed bug calls. When we're going out there to uh, visually look for these bugs, we're having a hard time finding them. A heavy, long-standing infestation is easy to spot, but by the time it gets to this point, the bed bugs have been in residence, feeding on their human host and reproducing for months. Wow. But bed bugs start biting and feeding at this stage, long before the eye can easily spot them. You're talking this tiny bug to try to find. That's where the dogs come in. Bed bugs give off a distinctive odor. People can even sometimes smell them when there are thousands of bugs, but Toby can sniff even the tiniest dose. Good boy, Toby. Good boy. To show us Toby in action, Robert hid bed bugs in the kinds of places bed bugs often call home. There are no bed bugs in this bed, but the clock radio. Good boy. That's a good boy, Toby. Sofas are another favorite nesting spot for bed bugs. No bugs in this one, but behind a nearby picture. Good boy. Over and over, Toby showed off his super sniffing skills, but keeping up his sensitivity requires daily drills. Basically, we have to hide bugs in our training room. Get him up. Get him up. And believe it or not, frequent teeth cleaning. The plaque buildup will actually uh, mess with their sense of smell. And joining me now is Toby, along with his handlers, Robert and Lisa Gallo. It's good to have you. Ooh, okay. Thanks for having he, me. He already wants a treat. <laughs> so I'm amazed to find out that we come out number five in the nation. How, what's been happening to your business? The phone doesn't stop ringing. <laughs> really? Yeah, the, the, fo the phone calls that we get, probably eight out of ten phone calls are, are for bed bugs. Eight out of ten calls. And yeah. you're, you're an exterminator? Yeah, pest control. Pest control. Now, how did Toby get in on the act? Um, we actually saw the problem uh, getting bigger here in California, and we started having issues with finding the bugs, um, where, where it actually took months to actually see, see the bugs. Okay. Crawling in the beds. Well, but I mean, Lisa, did, did you know that Toby had this natural ability or did you have to train we Toby? We didn't. Um, we actually got him from a trainer. Um, we were finding that we were getting a lot more calls about bed bugs. Mm -hmm. We were going and doing inspections and we couldn't find anything. Okay. And our customers were suffering. So we were looking for a tool to help our customers find them quicker. Well, and so how did you come upon realizing that Toby had this ability? We started doing research on, on training. They were using canines out in the East Coast, and with the East Coast having such a big problem, it was a matter of time before the bugs made it out to California. So we just prepared ourselves for, for this outbreak here in California. Now, you have, to, you have to train Toby constantly. You have to keep his sniffer working, and in order, in order to do that, you have to keep bed bugs alive. Yes, we do. Lisa, I'm told that you <laughs> are the source of their nutrition. I am. Can I'm, you show us what it is you do? I feed them, and um, I keep them in a vial, and I, I, <laughs> he's going to go crazy. Um, I actually fed them three weeks ago, so this is after three weeks. You put the bed bugs on your arm. Yep. Are you going to do that now? I sure am. I'm not sure. There's about 80 to 100 bugs in this vial. 80 to 100 bugs. Mm -hmm. Are they going to get out? No. Nope. They cannot get out. Randy, can you get in tight on there? Well, wait, wait, open it up so we can see it. Even tighter, maybe. Wow, look at that. All right, so Lisa, what are you going to, what are you going to do? What I, um, what I do is, I, since there, there's a film and it's covered, so I just let them do what they do. And You're letting these bugs suck your blood? Yeah. That's how we keep them fed. And we need to keep them fed so we can train. Did, so. did the trainer tell you you had to do this, or did you just come up with no, this idea if, all on your own? No, we came up with this on our own because if not, we have to purchase them, and they are very expensive. <laughs> R R Rob Robert, do you do this too? I do. I, she started doing this. She did it the first time about three weeks ago, and it was and just... And you'll see how they'll start coming down. I'm sorry. I don't want to get in Randy's way, but are they, they're really coming down and starting to bite you. Mm-hmm. 
How long do you let those little guys feed on you? Um, about uh, two, three minutes. Two, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they can get they they get what they need. Oh yeah, you'll see. Um, as soon as they start biting, oh. they'll change colors. All right. Now while <laughs> <laughs> while while we have the episode of True Blood going on over here, <laughs> I do I do want to give everybody a, a, an example. I want to show you what Toby can do now. You have hidden one of these vials in one of our green rooms. Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And now Toby right now is just <laughs> Toby's just having fun. Yeah. So if you start letting Toby go down the hall, will Toby now and Randy will follow, will Toby be able to find this where the vial is? Yeah, we'll take him over to the room and we'll search the room like we would do I, a normal. I'm, I'm going to have Robert go. Lisa, can you stay with me? I will just stay because here. I'm so thrilled to watch <laughs> you get your arm eaten. Yeah. Okay, Robert, take off. Let's All see right, what Toby can do. Come on, Toby. Come on. Bye -bye. I'm going to have a little hunting Good. music. Yeah, oh. right. <laughs> Gotta go, Randy. Come on. Go get him. A little faster than that, Robert. Okay. I or just else don't we're going to grow our own bed bugs. <laughs> That's it. They're inside this. Do you want to go in first? Or? Come on, Tom. Make up room. All right, now what? Let's see what happens. Looking around. Not there. Doesn't look like it's there. Can you be serious? Hey, good. No bed bugs for us, huh? Good boy. Come here. Up. He's excited. Oh, he's good pawing. Boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, good boy. <laughs> All good right. Good job, Toby. <laughs> All right, now, Lisa, as we go, uh, he, Toby can sniff out as few as how many bugs? As, as few as one baby egg. One egg. Yep. And that way you can get rid of it before the problem becomes an infestation. That's right. All right, so they have to get in touch with, in touch with you. Round the clock. Round the clock pest control. Pest control. Yes. And All right. Thank you so much. Dog. And what? Toby the bed bug dog. And Toby the bed bug dog. So become a fan. Thank you very much for being with us. I wish Randy was here. We could get one last shot of the bugs on your arm. Oh, boy. Coming up, everybody, the day in pictures. Also, Dodger Stadium. Hey, Toby. Dodger Stadium. Exciting to go there, thrilling to watch the Dodgers play, but then you got to go home, and that's when the gridlock happens, and that can drive any fan mad.